when I first came to Austin, uh, returned to Austin in 1990, uh, the bust had just happened and I got into architectural photography when there weren't a lot of photographers around working because of the economy. But I also got there when the upswing started. And I remember when progress was new developments in Westlake Hills and then it was west of the capital of Texas Highway. After that it was, then it was Highway 71 and then uh, Lakeway, which was a real sleepy little town. If you go out there now, it's all lake properties, big box stores. Um, and then out to Perdinalis, and even beyond that now to all the lakes. I think Austin, as far as west, has extended immensely since 1990. And the size of the homes that I've seen, we used to think 8,000 square feet was a large home, and now it's 25,000 square feet and up is a large home. So I've got to really see some wonderful places in Austin. Um, now what we're seeing is the same thing happening towards the east side of Austin, the new developments. So it's an exciting time to to get to see the progress that has happened. Um, it's been happening all along, although people now they see the taller buildings, they think that that it's something new, they see all the new condominiums, but it's something that's been going on going in Austin for 20, 20 years, 23 years that I've been a photographer. Um, I've got to see the historical homes here in town, worked some with the Heritage Society and got to see the roots of Austin. I think everyone should, should check into that and get to see some of the founders uh, in Austin and the homes that they had available, uh, not only what is happening right now. The, the largest changes I've seen are the size, which I had mentioned before, the size of the buildings. It used to be you could go out to Westlake, look back towards town, take a skyline shot, and it would last for a year or so. That doesn't happen anymore. If You, you can't have a stock shot of downtown because the sizes of the buildings are changing the, the scenery so quickly that I would have to say that the skyline has changed from every angle, looking east, looking west, and uh, a lot more in it. <laughs> the funnest building that I had photograph, got to photograph, I don't know if it's, it was my favorite, but I got to photograph the Austin Bergstrom International Airport for their fifth anniversary celebration. And they were looking for one shot that defined the airport. So they spent a day, to, it was pre-911, and I got a tour of the airport that probably no one can get now because of security. They, I did have to go through clearance, but they took me down to the baggage area. They took me through the hallways underneath. They took me to the tower. I got to go into the blackout room. I got to go into the offices. I got to go on the tarmac and photograph some of the, the planes right on on the uh, landing pad so it was really oh I even got to go to the catwalk if you if you haven't ever noticed and you go in the airport look up and there's a catwalk up along the top oh, and the only part that you cannot walk as a guest is over the security monitoring services because that's top secret but so I even got to go to the catwalk all along the top and then they they chose one shot that was the fifth anniversary celebration poster for everyone that had been involved in putting ABIA together. So that was a really fun project. We were trying to give one shot that showed, represented ABIA. All, out of all the shots we took of the airplanes, everything else, this was the Barbara Jordan terminal and the main terminal. And so I think that it reflects the most when people get up get on the plane and they look down one way and down the other, they recognize that is Austin Bergstrom International Airport. This shot was taken from the top of the stairs from the Admirals Club, looking back down. And I think the, seeing the people interacting within the airport really helped because it not only gave the structure, but it gave a feel of the people that are involved and they're using the airport. That is kind of like saying, what is your favorite album or what is your favorite movie? There is so much out there. And I, every time I go to a new large home, I, I have a new favorite. <laughs> I think I've seen the best one ever and then I get to the next one. So that, I, it'll probably never have a favorite because there's just so many talented people here in Austin.